So guys, the APC keep looking for means to dent Peter Obi's image. But I tell you, Peter Obi is stainless. You know, Peter Obi remains stainless. As in, they've dug deep. They've gone to the EFCC to see if there are anything, you know, they can find against Mr. Peter Obi. And you know, all this why Mr. Peter Obi has proven to be a stainless man. Mm. And this time they've come up with an ordeal between, that they claim was between Mr. Peter Obi and Pastor Oyedepo. So guys, I'm going to allow you to listen to this audio. You don't need anything to tell you that this was just something that they used an AI voice to do. They used an AI voice, you know, just to create this to see if they can dent Peter Obi's image. But I tell you, like somebody said that Peter Obi is the type that if you speak against him, you are just giving him more opportunity to shine. As in, he uses it as a Vaseline to rub his body and he will keep shining. That is just what they are doing. And do you know what? What even baffled me when I listened to this audio is that the person that created this audio is so unprofessional. As in, if you want to implicate somebody, they say when you do things, it will even look like original. But you know, you are going to listen to the audio, you know that the person that doctored this audio did a very poor job. As in, a very poor job. You can imagine just calling somebody on phone and just let me allow you to listen to this audio. Just listen to this audio and we'll come back to it to digest it. Good morning, Daddy. Praise the Lord. How are you, sir? Fine, Daddy. Good morning, Daddy. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are going to get a bright result. Thank you, Daddy. When I hear this, this is your call and prayers, Daddy is very dear to me. God. And like I keep saying, if this works, you people will never regret this support. Amen. Amen. You know, we look forward to God's intervention. Thank you, Daddy. We look forward to God's intervention. Thank you, Daddy. We look forward to God's intervention. Amen, Daddy. Good daddy, I need you to speak to your the people in the Southwest. Your people in the Southwest. Anukwara. Okay, okay. I've been, I've been the in Christians, touch with people. The Christians in the Southwest, Anukwara. This is a religious war. I believe that. I believe that. I believe that. You know, I, I did the release, Nigeria going forward. Yes, uh, And I'm coming out with the second one today. Thank you, Dad. I wanted it out before uh, when they won't have any time to, <laughs> to do damage, damage control. Thank you, Dad. So, but in the name of Jesus, this project has shall, shall Amen. Amen. You know what I said in today's one? A sickly nation like Nigeria will require a strong and healthy personality. Thank you, sir. Thank and you, I sir. said, uh, anyone who source of wealth cannot be verified should not have access to governance, particularly in a dry economy like Nigeria. So, uh, all we are doing is appealing to the wisdom and conscience of people. Thank you, to know, to know where to go. Thank you, Daddy. But I want to assure you in the name of Jesus that Thank the result shall be favorable. Thank you, Daddy. That the result shall be favorable. Thank you, Daddy. That the result shall be favorable. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. So relax yourself. Don't be apprehensive. Thank Are you, you in Lagos or Abuja? I'm, I'm in Onisha now. Good. So you'll be there for the election? Yes, sir. Very good. Yes, Daddy. That, that's where to be. Thank you, Daddy. That's where to be. Thank you, Daddy. I, I said all Nigerians have equal stake in this Thank you, Nobody Thank you. has a right to claim that he's dashing something to someone. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> we, are, we are coming out of it. Thank you, Daddy. So I don't find in Jesus' name. Amen. So I the East generally. This is okay. This is quiet. Okay. Thank and you, the little birds, how are we doing? Uh, metal band, we're okay, but in, in places like Kogi, Kwara, and Niger, is a worrisome place. Well, 
will get through to Kwara. Oh, fantastic. I, 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 I went to Kwara and visited all of our forefathers who told me that nobody has ever come here with you, no problem. But the Christian community in Kwara and Naija, and listen, I'm also working in um, in uh, Kogi, same way. Okay. Then I, I will target this uh, clip to them. Thank you. I will make sure they get it today. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be looking out for the release as well. Okay. <laughs> I said, send it to me. Okay, okay. I'll do that. Thank you. I'll do that. God bless you. Thank you. Peace. So I'll still talk to you later today. Hey, thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. So guys, I want us to analyze this audio. First of all, I want you to critically listen to this audio again. And you try to, you know, find out if that voice represents Peter Obi's voice. And if the other voice represents Pastor David Oyedepo's voice, you will find out that none of those two voices represents any of these two people. Just take your time and listen to it very well. And secondly, you can imagine Pastor Oyedepo calling Peter Obi and immediately Peter will be picked. He just told him that in Jesus' name, by the grace of God, we are going to get a bright result. You can imagine. He didn't even say, hello, uh, yeah, Peter will be, how are you doing? There wasn't any greeting. He just called him, and when he picked the phone, the first thing he told him is that we are going to get a bright result or a better result. Can you just imagine? Is that how to make calls? Good morning, Daddy. Praise the Lord. How are you, sir? Fine, Daddy. Good morning, Daddy. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are going to get a bright result. Thank you, Daddy. When I hear this, this is your call and prayers. Daddy is very dear to me. God. And like I keep saying, if this works, you people will never regret the support. Amen. Amen. You know, we look forward to God's intervention. Thank you, Daddy. We look forward to God's intervention. Thank you, Daddy. We look forward to God's intervention. Amen, Daddy. So, secondly, I want us to digest this. Does it mean that Pastor Oyedepo is the one, you know, overseeing all the people in the Southwest? He's the one to tell them who to vote for. Can you imagine? And then he said in the Southwest, in Quara. So it means that Pastor Yedepo is the one to tell the people of Quara where, who to vote for. So guys, you can see that there is something fishy here. The APC is just trying to dent Peter Obi's image, honest. Daddy, I need to speak to you, the people in the Southwest, your people in the Southwest and Quara. Okay, okay. I've been, I've been the, in Christians, the Christians in the Southwest and Quara. This is a religious war. I believe that. I believe that. I believe that. You know, I, I did the release, Nigeria going forward. Yes, sir. Uh, and I'm coming out with the second one today. Thank you, Daddy. I wanted it out before uh, when they won't have any time to to do damage, damage control. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> it's a religious war. That is what this audio is saying, that Peter Obi said this is a religious war. Can you believe that? That Peter Obi told Pastor Oyedepo that this is a religious war, that he wants Pastor Oyedepo to talk to his people. And Pastor Oyedepo was telling him that he released a message today and he's to release the second one. So guys, you can just see that this is just a gang up. A gang up. The conversation does not even look professional. As in, it doesn't look to, it doesn't appear to be something that really happened. You don't even need anybody to tell you in this 21st century. Honestly, I think APC would have come up with something better than what they've just done because this is nothing to write home about at all. This is nothing to, to hold on to. Thank <laughs> you.
But in the name of Jesus, this could be a Amen. You know what I said in today's one? A sickly nation like Nigeria will require a strong and healthy personality. Thank you, sir. Thank and you. I said, uh, anyone who saw us, words cannot be verified, should not have access to governance, particularly in a tiny economy like Nigeria. So, uh, all we are doing is appealing to the wisdom and conscience of people. Thank you, Daddy. To know where to go. Thank you, Daddy. But I want to assure you in the name of Jesus that Thank the result shall be favorable. Thank you, Daddy. That the result shall be favorable. Thank you, Daddy. That the result shall be favorable. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. So relax yourself. Don't be apprehensive. Thank Are you, you in Lagos or Abuja? I'm, I'm in Onitsha now. Good. So you'll be there for the election? Yes, sir. Very good. Yes, sir. That, that's where to be. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. That's where to be. Thank you, Daddy. I, I said all Nigerians have equal stake in this Thank Nobody Thank has a right to claim that he's dashing something to someone. Thank you. Guys, this audio keep making me to laugh as in uh pastor yedepo asked peter obi where are you now you in abuja or lagos and he said he's in onich and he said oh that is where to be that is where to be honestly <laughs> whosoever that doctored this audio should better go and learn better as in to, he, he or she should go and learn how to do things like this because this has just ended up you know exposing the desperation in the apc camp they want to become president at all costs People have been calling out Tinubu as a result of the forged certificates and, you know, so many things, the drug case, and they, they felt, oh, can't we come up with something to also, you know, dent Peter Obi? And that is why they are coming up with this one. But do you know what? The obedience are resolute. People believe deeply in Peter Obi, in his ideology, his personality, you know, in his way of thinking doing things people have so much believed in peter obi that it's that not so easy for you to you know swing the people's interest in peter obi away it is not that easy and that is why you know this attempt is already a failed one it's already a failed one <laughs> we, are, we are coming out of it thank you daddy so i don't find in jesus name um, so i see it's generally this is okay. This is quiet. Okay. And Thank the you, little bird, how are we doing? Eh, hey, little bird, we're okay. But in, in places like Kogi, Kwara and Niger, is a worrisome place. Well, we'll get you to Kwara. Oh, fantastic. I, 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 I went to Kwara and visited all of our forefathers who told me that nobody has ever come here with you no problem. But the Christian community in Kwara and Niger, and listen, I'm also working in um, in uh, Kogi, same way. Okay. Then I, I will target this uh, clip to them. Thank you. I will make sure they get it today. Thank you. In Jesus' name. I'll be looking out for the release as well. Okay. <laughs> I see a pastor to send it to me. Okay, okay. I'll do that. Thank you. I'll do that. God bless you. Thank you. Peace. So I'll still talk to you later today. So guys, well, thank you, Daddy. So guys, thank you can you, imagine Daddy. how thank low you. the APC has condescended to doctor this audio. Tell me what is even so bad about this audio. Tell me, is there anything that is so extreme? Just tell me, is there anything that is uh, too extreme when it comes to this audio? If not the word that it is a religious war, and Peter Obi can never make such a comment. But tell me, is there anything that is bad in this audio that they think they will use to implicate Peter Obi? There is nothing. You know, unlike them that say, grab it, catch it, take it by force, uh, you know, snatch it, that use all those languages. People don't even come out to condemn them. They, do, they didn't even see what they did to be bad. They are now saying that Peter will be called Pastor Yedepo or Pastor Yedepo called Peter will be. Tell me what is bad about this audio. Assuming this was actually the content of the audio, what is that bad about it? There is nothing. 
they can't find anything you know they, they've gone to the efcc try to find loopholes when it comes to peter Obi. but i tell you peter Obi checked himself in and out before coming out for this uh, election yes. peter Obi checked himself in and out before coming out for this presidential election and he you can't fault him it's not as if he's god but i tell you you can't fault mr peter Obi. So guys, Pastor Yedepo equally responded to this video and he has said he has never campaigned for anybody. People come to him for advice, but you can't hear him. Even throughout this period, he never opened his mouth to tell anybody that it must be Peter Obi. Yes, you might see his body language or you see him where Peter Obi is, but he doesn't come out to openly tell people that you must vote for Peter Obi. Then how come he called him on phone to tell him that he's going to tell his people? so guys this is where we are today and there are so many reactions online i'm going to allow you just read some of them on your own also don't forget that mr pit also don't forget that mr peter Obi has equally reacted to this audio he called it a propaganda and he said this propaganda cannot stop us from reclaiming our mandates in court so guys mr peter Obi is staying focused he knows that you know these are just strategies that the apc is using to distract people's attention from asking where Tinubu is, you know, since after the election, Tinubu has left. He didn't want uh, the Labour Party to serve him the petition, but the court has gone ahead to give the Labour Party, you know, the privilege to serve him through their party. And, you know, Bola Ahmed Tinubu has not been in the country all this while. They don't want people to start asking questions. They are just trying to distract people from the real issues. So, guys, you've heard it for yourself, and I hope you understand everything in this video you can take your time to re-listen to this video and also you get to know that this is just you know a gang up please don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell please give this video a like so that youtube can recommend it to others drop your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to buy us a super thanks below thank you